Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you want to find a mask, um, for example, for this lake, and it's a bit difficult to select it. So um, one of the ways to do it is to look through channels. And all you do is you go along to your channels tab here, and you literally click on each of these here. So red's not bad. Green, uh, it's, there's absolutely no separation there. Blue, no, that's not going to bring out that lake, is it? So you might try going, OK, let's try this. And um, so that's A, so reset this and we go down to the background red, right click and create grayscale layer. And another question is, can we separate this out? So, for example, you might try looking at the adjustment levels. Problem is here, this look, this use the whole histogram. So if I try to pull in here, I'm trying to separate this out and make everything else disappear. It's not going to work, is it? Mm, good try, but sorry. So where else can I look? Well, I can look at other color spaces or color models. So if I can go document, convert format here and go to say to CMYK and see what I get there. So I can go to these, click on each of these. Do any of those stand out? Not really. They're really, they're just the invert of the others, isn't it? It's the black. No, that's worse still. OK, that didn't work. So let's uh, oh, just reset the beginning each time. Otherwise, we're going to go through conversion several times. Go to Document, Convert Format, and let's try Lab. LAB down there and convert. And so now let's go to the channels and go uh, lightness doesn't work. A, although this is grey, this is the way that the LAB works. In contrast, this is actually standing out a lot more than anything else, isn't it? What about B? No, isn't B isn't quite as good as A. So it's A looks good. So if I right click over, on, sorry, left click on that little curly thing to bring it all back, then go down to A here, right click, Create grayscale layer, and here it is. And what I can do here, I can steal this layer and take it back to RGB. All I do is Control A to select everything, then Control C to copy. Then I'm just going to go to my history and wind everything back to the beginning, so I've got to here. But now I've Control V paste. Hey, look! It came with us. I hadn't lost it. It was in the copy buffer, so I can bring from the LAB space this grayscale and take it all the way back. Excellent. Now I can do some other things. Let's try that levels thing again. Adjustments, levels. And look here, look at the how narrow this is. So now I can definitely bring this one up here and this one down to here. And it is still a bit around here, but there's a kind of trick I can do here which is, I can, uh, I'm just going to merge that back into that so that I've just got this in here. You can do it other ways, but just for now. And I'm going to go and do another levels. And what this does now is that, that bit that was in the middle is now well separated. So I can do a bit more carefully. I can bring this in here. And what happens when I bring this down? And now it's, it's effectively lets me move down and select the whole thing there and I can bring the black up and see I've got this separation out here now I can just paint away the stuff at the top that's no good so that looks great so now I can hit merge and I'm going to take the paintbrush and I'm going to go to white and paint away all that stuff out there and now I've got something but for a mask I want to invert it because I want white to be the bit I that I keep. Control I. There you go. And I, with the levels thing, I could have changed that even more. But now I'm going to right click and rasterize to mask. So that's masking off the lake. Now I can do something like go to HSL and I can. No, it's up in the wrong place, isn't it? HSL at the top and then mask against it. There we go. So now I can 
change the colour of the lake, for example, change the saturation of that, or whatever other controls I want. I could have used curves or whatever. But there you go. A way of getting a mask by stealing it from another colour space. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.